for your safety. Please stay alert to changing road conditions and use Sync's voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion. We call that the lawyer jingle. <laughs> <laughs> the lawyer disclaimer. So um, I'm just going to give a, a quick tour of, of the system. Um, there's four, uh, I'll start at the home screen. So this is the My4 Touch, the 8 inch touch screen. And there's four quarters, entertainment, phone, navigation, and climate control. So starting with um, entertainment, I have AM, FM, CD, I have my iPod connected via USB, actually it's my iPhone, um, Bluetooth stereo, and you can see the album artwork is um, transferred from the uh, phone um, directly on, or from the media player, or from my iPod, directly on onto the screen. So looks like the voice commands are still building, so I'll jump over to a phone and I'll come back in a moment. So, of course, my phone book automatically downloads and synchronizes every time I come into the car. And then, so here's my phone book here. And if I go to Aisha, my wife, you can see her contact information. It's not a real phone number, um, but that is a real picture or a drawing of her. It's not her um, real name, though, is it? Yes, that's it. Yeah, her name is Aisha, but I say Aisha. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, Aisha Johnson, my mother's name is Militia, so sometimes it confuses Aisha and Militia. So, I'm like, no, I'm not trying to call my mom, I'm trying to call my wife. <laughs> so, I put Aisha, uh, Aisha, my wife, um, in there. Now, if I uh, receive an incoming SMS, a text message um, from her or for anybody, instead of reaching down to my device, um, and fumbling and, and reading it on the device was, of course, I want to keep my hands on the wheel, my eyes on the road. Um, I can use voice commands to read Please the message. Say a command. Read message. Welcome to Sync with My Ford Touch. Happy, smiley, laughing Oops. out loud. I'll do it again so it doesn't time out. So you see, there's a younger picture of me. Please say a command. Read message. Welcome to Sync with My Ford Touch. Happy, smiley, laughing out loud. So no, some of the happy smileys. And in the interest of testing, Sync has said a lot of things that probably shouldn't say. <laughs> um, so if I want to uh, call my Please wife. say a command. Call Aisha, my wife. Call Aisha, my wife, on cell or at home? On cell. Calling Aisha, my wife, on cell. So since I had two phone numbers, it was clever enough to know, oh, which phone number do you want to call? And you can see that it's calling um, here. The number you've died is not a sign. So, fake number, of course. So I'll go over to, um, to navigation. So in navigation, um, we'll give it a second to, uh, to load and render. We're in Washington, D.C. since this is the, this is the North American software. Um, so you can see the uh, 3D. Uh, the 3D view and we have the 3D building um, rendering and the great thing is instead of using the screen to manually enter the street address instead of using very strict and structured voice commands I can enter all of the voice commands directly in, in one shot please say a command destination street address in District of Columbia say the street address including the city 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Northwest, Washington. When ready, press the voice button and then say set as so destination. That's, that's the way. Or say so you can do any address. Something. I use that one because it's popular. If we wanted to route to my mother in law's, well, maybe not, um, <laughs> we could route to um, her address. Um, so, of course, when we adopt the system for Europe, the European maps and the European languages is part of the integration and development that's ongoing um, right now. Ba back into media, um, artist, album, playlist, any of the content that's on my device, I can use uh, voice commands, so. Please say a command. Play song, The Yellow Submarine. Playing song, Yellow Submarine. And then, um, Yep, it's going to start playing um, on the screen. So, album artist playlist, any of the content. So, everything that we do is to encourage drivers to not touch their devices, keep them stored away in the bin, and then use the and then use the voice commands to access all of those features to minimize driver distraction. The next key feature or application is emergency assistance. So, if the vehicle is in an accident, we won't simulate that here. Um, if the airbag is deployed or the fuel pump is shut off, Sync will use your mobile phone that's already connected 
um, and dial 112 on your behalf using your existing mobile phone. So no contract, no subscription fee. It's already um, from Ford. It's the contract that you already have with your mobile phone. And since we're calling 112 directly, um, the infrastructure is there already. So um, every country that supports 112 will be supported by emergency assistance. So airbag is deployed. Um, sync um, initiates a call to 112. Based upon the position, the coordinate of the GPS position of the vehicle, it will determine which language it needs to speak to the emergency operator. So if a German driver is um, driving in France, it would, the system will speak to the occupant in German, but speak to the emergency operator in French and say there's been, in French, that there's been an accident at this location with the GPS coordinates. And then at a minimum, if the two don't understand each other, the emergency operator knows, oh, there's been an accident at this location, I can send emergency services dir directly there. The other feature that's under development is called AppLink. Um, AppLink is already available in the U.S. with um, application partners, but what AppLink does, it allows the user to use the sync voice commands and the vehicle controls to control the applications that run on smartphones, like Pandora, Stitcher Radio, um, NPR, National Public Radio, um, Internet Radio Station apps, so you can say, um, the command, use voice commands to control those apps instead of having to fumble on like um, AppLink. Right. So now we're looking for the application developers and partners that are relevant for um, for Europe, like we've done in North America. So what are the popular apps that are relevant to minimizing driver distraction in Italy, in in France, in, in Germany, in, in the UK? And how many can apps are supported at the moment in the US? Uh, I believe there's six or seven in, in growing. Um, six or seven are growing. Um, so it's taken us a while to um, increase the adoption in the U.S. and now we're expanding it to, to Europe as well. But the goal is similar to controlling phone and media player, it's, it's the smartphone app. So we have a Twitter client, OpenBeak, so Sync will read the, your Twitter feeds back to you using text-to-speech um, technology versus um, looking at your device. Anything we can get, encourage the driver to do. Um, using voice commands, that, that's, that's the technology that, that we're driving in. Will it allow you to tweet as well or just listen to tweets? Just listen right now. Can you demonstrate the hotspot feature? Is oh, the Wi-Fi yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, let me make sure, yeah, I'll plug in the, um, does somebody have an iPad or something? Oh wait, I have my, um, where's my phone? Oh, here we go. So, I have to wait for the two blue lights to come on. And then, so um, actually, it's already up and running. I'll show you the uh, I'll show you the settings. So if I go into settings, and I go into wireless and internet, and so here are the different ways to connect to the internet uh, directly with the Wi-Fi hotspot or with the wireless data provider through the media hub. That's what I'm doing now, or through cell networks. Um, and if I, um, I'll just go directly. Um, to my iPhone, but this could be an iPad, this could be um, anything. So I'll go in, if I go to setting, in Wi-Fi, I can see sync with my Ford Touch, enter the password, just Ford D, and join. And then um, I'll give it a second. Then now I'm connected via Wi-Fi. Now if I go into the uh, Wi-Fi settings, of course um, the access point settings. Of course I can customize customize my gateway name, choose the security type, and choose the the security key just like any other Wi-Fi enabled device.